Hey guys, it's Arjun Kikas here and welcome back to the channel. Sorry I've been gone for a while, I've been very ill with different things, as everyone seems to be at the moment guys. But we are back and we are back for the brand new YFM reaction called the Trauma Song. I've heard the little preview they did, it sounds like it's going to be a banger guys, so excited. Let's jump straight into it. Oh, you ain't ready for this one. Ooh. I do believe the captain has turned on the fasten seatbelt sign. <laughs> Oh, I ain't fuck, trying to flex, dragon. but my childhood was turbulent. Ooh. It gave me a lot of scars that are permanent. So, I love the art style, by the way. Absolutely great. Where the fuck is this dragon come from? They're in a plane flying fucking dragon out of nowhere. It goes and fucking eats the fucking thing up. But, um... I'm not trying to flex. I'm not sure it's a flex having a trauma. Having trauma, but everyone has fucking trauma nowadays anyway. Why not? But I'm not trying to flex, but my childhood was turbulent. <laughs> it left me a lot of scars that are permanent. So he's got permanent scars from his childhood. Obviously, we know a bit about Puss's backstory. It's uh, not the best. Um, with his mum and. We don't even know about his dad. So there you go. <laughs> that dragon's sick. I'm not sure where it's come from, but the fucking dragon. <laughs> My childhood was turbulent It gave me a lot of scars that are permanent Problem is I don't need anybody But I need to be needed I'm my own worst enemy and I'm undefeated So I don't need nobody But I need to be needed So he doesn't need anyone He's had to get through life himself Because he had no support But he didn't get that love as a child So now he needs to be needed by someone And feel loved Oh damn What a battle that is Puff damn boy Um I'm my own worst enemy and I'm undefeated. So he's got such a low self-esteem from everything that's happened that he need, that he he's his own worst enemy. He hates himself. He puts himself down all the time and he's undefeated at it because no one else can put him down better than himself. And he and the part of himself trying to love himself is never beating that part of himself. Hate, hate himself. Also we've got shitty G vibes on the fucking um, fridge over there with the eviction notice and a, a penguin for some reason. Big up the penguin. Everyone's a fan. New favourite character. Need anybody, but I need to be needed. I'm my own worst enemy and I'm undefeated. Used to live with my mom in a one room of four. Also, new gen baby Puff. Like, kid Puff is adorable. Look at him. He's so cute. Worst enemy and I'm undefeated. Used to live with my mom in a one room apartment. She was on pills, passed out on the carpet. So, he uh, used to live with his mom in a one bed apartment. And she's not, well... It's not great living in a one bedroom apartment with, with two people, but then it's like the fact she's on the pill, she's passed out of the fucking... He's dead on the carpet. That's a mattress puff. Maybe you're remembering wrong. But yeah, she's on pills and fucking... Off her fucking nut. So he's living... stuff. That's where the dragon's from. I've just noticed that. He's playing with a dragon on a plane. Now it makes a lot more sense to start. My mom in a one-room apartment She was on pills, passed out on the carpet Childhood sucks! Real bad luck. When I hit rock bottom, I was actually moving up. <laughs> uh, childhood sucked when I hit rock bottom. It was actually going up. So his life was so bad as a childhood. And it sucked that bad. That when he hit rock bottom, which is like the lowest you could go, that was going up because he was way below rock bottom, man. Damn, poor puff. I love this animation as well. Absolutely great. And the back, the background track's really good. It sucked. Real bad luck. When I hit rock bottom, I was actually moving up. Everybody got some problems, but we don't want to talk about them. I should probably go to the doctor, but instead I went and wrote this song because that's my trauma. Oh, fucking hell. This is it's the way they've just gone to like a little kid's adorable cartoon land. Everybody's got trauma. Um, he should probably go to a doctor. But instead I wrote this song. So instead of going to the doctor and get the actual help for the problems and the mental scars he's got. He just wrote a nice little bop instead. And I think like that's a lot of people nowadays. Instead of dealing with the trauma head on we have. We just thought of fucking... Do it, what about that? Is adorable. That is the most adorable photo I've ever seen. He's Axel riding a baby dragon, <laughs> DJ's bouncing up and down. Puff, oh, he's so cute. And then obviously, Ben and Tarfley, his little guitar, even as a kid, and everything's got smiles, happily face. Lovely, lovely guys. The doctor, but instead, I went and wrote this song because that's my trauma. My trauma <laughs> That's my trauma and it really fucked up my life 
that's my drummer and he really fucked up my life to a really happy fucking rockin' Robin beat. Rocky Robin, tweet, tweet, tweet. That's my drummer. Tweet, tweet, tweet. Oh, I love it. Why have I'm smashing it as always? Big fan. That's my drummer and he really fucked up my Track star, the way I run from commitment, human pandemic, you gonna have to keep your distance. You <laughs> so, yeah, he's a track star, the way he keeps his distance. So, he's like a track, like racers on the track, they have to try to keep distance from, but it, like, and he's running, like, probably keep distance because he's a human pandemic. He wants people to keep away from him. But, track star, he runs from commitment because he's never had that stable base, he doesn't know what he's doing to be committed, he's used to being by himself. So he's a track star the way he runs from commitment. He's a human pandemic. Oh, you've got to keep your distance. The way he loves it. <laughs> oh, I love the animation of bopping around as well. Weaving through the shadow people. The way I run from commitment. Human pandemic, you're going to have to keep your distance. You don't want to know the things I think about in solitude. Whenever someone likes me, I'm like, what the hell is wrong with you? <laughs> <laughs> Fucking hell. Oh. When I, when like, when someone likes me, I think, what the hell is wrong with you? Well, I'm sure we've all had that fucking moment in life, or maybe. Maybe it's just me and Puff, I don't know. But, like, you think, you're so low, and if someone actually shows an interest in you, you're like, something's wrong with you, because I'm a fucking mess. You should not be interested in me at all. Man, man, human pandemic, you're gonna have to keep your distance. You don't want to know the things I think about in solitude. Whenever someone likes me, I'm like, what the hell is wrong with you? Dude. And when I wake up in the morning, I don't feel nothing because I lack serotonin. Only <laughs> when I wake up in the morning, I don't feel nothing because I lack serotonin. So he's never had happiness. He's never had the, ser the happy hormone serotonin run through his veins because his life's so fucking miserable and traumatic. I let that, that shot of it cutting open as well, the brain cutting open. I think it was bra brain rave, is it? Yeah, it reminds me a bit of that. I don't know why. Maybe it's just the animation style on it, but... And when I wake up in the morning, I don't feel nothing because I lack serotonin. I feel nothing because he just he has no emotion at all. Only thing lower than my self esteem is my chance of achieving any hopes and dreams. Everybody. Oh, fucking hell. The only thing worse than him is his hopes of achieving any. is his hopes and dreams. Fuck me. Jesus Christ, so nothing's lower than him except his hopes and dreams that are never gonna come true. Fucking hell, this is bleak, isn't it? My self -esteem is my chance of oh, sorry, the only thing lower than his self esteem is his hopes of achieving his, his dreams. Oh my god! Or his chances of achieving. That's fucking bleak, man. Fuck me. Achieving any hopes and dreams. Everybody got some problems. <laughs> Wait, he's in a fucking straight jacket locked up and it keeps flat and it flash well it flashed to the fucking like a mental asylum in a padded cell. Oh I love it. We don't wanna talk about him. I should probably go to the psych Oh there you go. There's a psych ward, the fucking padded cell with all his friends. He's not actually in that world, that's what he's with his real reality, he's just imagining the other world. But that's what I wrote this song for, that's my trauma. I should probably go to the psych ward, but that's what I wrote this song for, that's my trauma. So instead of going to a psychiatric hospital and getting checked in that he needs, he just wrote a happy little bop. Why not? My trauma. That's my trauma and it really fucked up my life. It's really deep. My grandpa got his ass whooped, so my <laughs> That's why I got my ass whooped. Did anybody else get beat? <laughs> my granddad got his ass beat. So it's his great granddad who's just a skeleton. It's in the shit out of him. His granddad. His granddad. And then my dad got his ass beat. Bang. And then I. That's why I got my ass beat. And his dad hits him. Is that the first time we've ever seen Puff's dad? I believe it is. I don't think we've seen Puff's dad ever before. So. Little sneak peek there. That's his granddad, and that's fucking <laughs> dad. Oh, you can see why he looks like he does. But I thought he lived with his mum. So why is he, where's his dad to come and beat him and shit? Okay, now his dad looks a bit like Wreck It Ralph. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Um, 
So yeah, did anyone else get beat? Yeah, my generation still got the the end of me. Not as bad as like belts and shit, but it was still you could still allowed to beat your child when I was a kid. Now if you do it, you get fucking social services called up and you get put on a list. So you're not allowed to anymore, even if they are a cunt. I got my ass whooped. Did anybody else get beat? I was only seven and we didn't have tablets, so I played cars with my cousin in the attic. Oh, a little young, young, young DJ. So he didn't, um, they didn't have tablets back then, so they just had to play with each other. Him and his cousin in the attic playing cards. There you go, they were playing Pokemon and shit. We used to have to do this shit in day. There's a non Pikachu. They've taken bits off just so it isn't Pikachu and it's not copyright. Seven and we didn't have tablets, so I played cars with my cousin in the attic. Found a tube of lipstick still in the package. Put a little on me and I look fantastic. <laughs> put a li found lipstick still in the package, so I put them on me. I don't look fantastic. He does. He looks adorable. We love you, DJ. Baby DJ, this art style's killing it. <laughs> DJ was gonna be a woman, who would have known? That would have made Bitch Got a Penis a bit of a different song, wouldn't it? Is that still on YouTube or did that get banned? I feel like that would have got banned. Then we heard someone open up the hatch and it was stepdad and he started. So that's his stepdad. So he opened it, someone opened up the hatch, it was stepdad. He looks fucking evil, mate. He's fucking monster. Then we heard someone open up the hatch and it was stepdad and he started going bad shit. He had been drinking all day, throwing mad fits. Then I heard a bell, I was about to get my ass kicked. <laughs> so it was. He'd been drinking all day. He was going. No, he was going bat shit. He he'd been drinking all day. He was going bat shit, throwing mental fits and shit. And then he had a bell, a ding, and he was about to get his ass kicked. And uh, there we see him getting fucking RKO'd out of nowhere by a wannabe Hulk Hogan that's his stepdad. Um, but yeah, he's got, he got he had the bell like it's wrestling, and he's gonna get his ass kicked. All day throwing mad fits, then I heard a bell, I was about to get my ass kicked. On God. He hit me with the RKO. On God. A suplex from the top row. On God. So much a suplex as a... Well, it looked like he was gonna do belly to belly with how he held in front, but then it was sort of like a, in, like a German suplex off the top rope. That was a... I'm not too sure what that second move was. It wasn't a suplex, because of how he was being held. It was sort of a German, but he was facing the wrong way. Through fucking nose. <laughs> it, it doesn't matter. I don't know why I'm putting so much thought into it. It really doesn't matter. RKO. On guard. A suplex from the top row. On guard. Looks like he's turned him to do a German. It's fine. I was in serious trouble, because he took my Ninja Turtles and he smashed them with a shovel. On guard. He said you're not my real son. <laughs> fucking hell. So he um, took his shovel and kicked the shit at, well, smashed the fuck out of his Ninja Turtle toys. Poor Michelangelo, just trying to chill as a toy. And he's getting smacked up by a fucking shovel. And then he's going to fucking DJ and going, You're not my real child, or real son. Whatever the fuck he said. One of the two. Wanker. Ninja Turtles, and he smashed them with a Looks a bit like Dr. Eggman as well. Double. He said you're not my real son. I didn't like the guy, but that one really stung. Oh, he didn't like him, but it still hurt him. Since then, I always felt I wasn't man enough, but I won't complain because everybody had That's it my tough. Trauma. Deep, deep, deep. My trauma. Deep, really deep. So DJ's not going to complain like a lot of people, we keep our feelings in, because everyone's had it tough, so we don't want to talk about it. Very British attitude, don't mention your feelings, get on with it, have some fucking mashed potato and gravy. <laughs> I love that, and the dragon's still involved now, it's thing. We haven't had a young puff, we haven't had a gen one puff thing. We haven't had a gen one puff. I must have missed it if there is one, because I've not seen the story. Really Oh, that was so good. They've absolutely killed it, guys. I hope you enjoyed that as much as I did. That's really, really good. I'm fucking having that on repeat for the rest of my life. <laughs> that sounds like I have problems. I'm fine, I promise. <laughs> Yeah guys, I hope you did enjoy that as much as I did. Obviously it was a joke. If you do have real trauma, 
get it seen to. But yeah, guys, that was really good. I did enjoy that. The song, the lyrics, the vibe. <laughs> But yeah guys, I hope you did enjoy it. If you did, smash that like button, subscribe with bell notifications turned on, and I'll see you next time. Peace.